Oh, what a forearm. What's coming next? Taking their time. Choke slam. Drop kick hits the mark. Now it's Kalisto in a little bit of trouble here. But not for a second do I expect him to back down now. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. What's coming next? Taking their time. When it comes to Braun Strowman, Corey, I'd say the Monster Young Man has become the most destructive WWE superstar in history, and in short order. Yeah, Braun Strowman definitely takes inflicting pain to a whole new level, but he's fine with destroying inanimate objects, too, especially vehicles. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. I can't believe it, Michael. This night could be over for Kalisto. To further demonstrate the destruction of Strowman that you guys mentioned, we've seen him pick up a limo with Elias inside, and he's overturned the WWE's production trailer. Then, at WrestleMania, he crushed a parade float. And then there's the wonderful moments where Braun mixes destruction with paint. Before their Royal Rumble match, Braun used a grappling hook to pull a giant lighting rig onto Kane and Brock Lesnar. That's why we now have a no grappling hooks backstage policy. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match, where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Champ. Wow, I thought he was a goner. A quick reversal by Lightning Fast. for Kalisto. He might be out of it. He's absolutely running on fumes right now. When it comes to brutality, I would agree. Oh, that's strong with an elevated triangle here. This is not where Kalisto wants to be right now. Tap, tap. This match is over. These superstars didn't exactly set the world on fire, but this match had its moments, as we see here.